I do know that uh, spirit has started to come close to me. And uh, I love it when they start to come because I can feel the energies becoming stronger. And, you know, it's your energies that you build that brings the spirit closer to you. So please remember this. It's you that is asking the questions. It is you that's seeking the answers. And it is you that wants to know the truth of spirit. Remember, spirit divine does attend all prayers. They do make the heart the home. And they attach themselves to each and every one of you. Because you see, many times within the group, we have spoken. We have told you, seek you shall find. As you will receive, knock the doors will open. Many of you ask the question because you are seeking. Many of you want to gain knowledge, but not one of you have asked why you want the knowledge, because we listen to you. And only one among the group has ever said the words, I want to serve. If you want to serve spirit, spirit will come towards you. As you will receive, you will gain the knowledge that is important for you. Because you see, we come to man to help you to understand the knowledge that is given is not just for yourself. It is to help others to understand within life that there is a life beyond the living of the earth, that there is a spirit realms for all to go, where they will be greeted with their loved ones and friends that have gone before them, where they can rejoice in the joy and the happiness that once was. This is what we do. We help you to understand, but you must be true to yourself. Do not be afraid to speak to your helpers. Do not be afraid to trust in spirit. Spirit will not let you down. They are with you. That is why they are called your guides. Your guides will guide you. Your helpers will help. You will have the powerhouse that will give you the energies and the strength. And the doorkeeper will protect you. Know this, it is important. As you ask of whom you are with, ask who you are sensing. Know this, this will be given to you. Because it is important for each and every one of you to find the truth. By opening your channels. By opening up your chakras, opening up the base, knowing that once you are in alignment with the energies of spirit and the spirit within, you are open to all the entities of life from the realms of spirit that can come towards you. And you will learn to sense, so learn to sense, learn to feel their vibration. And learn to understand that spirit divine does attend all prayers. Now I am ready. You speak, but I will first of all step aside. Because there are others that wish to come towards you, to help you, so you will understand. Good evening, my friends. It is lovely to come back to you. It is lovely to see each and every one of you. Because you see, you are seeking the knowledge. And as you seek up the knowledge, we in spirit will give you the guidance and give you the understanding so that you can learn, so you can understand to give to others what you feel within yourself. Because it is very important. Everyone in life has a gift. But it is not always the spiritual gift. 
is the gift of the healing, the gift of that of singing, the gift of philosophy, gift of that of dancing. There is so many gifts that are given to men where life is concerned, but they have to find the way. They have to learn to be nurtured forward, not taught by man, but to be nurtured. And their gift can be nurtured as each and every one of you here. Your gift can be nurtured in the right way. And that is by trusting, trusting spirit, trusting yourself, but most of all, trusting that of God the Father, who is always close within each and every one of you. Now I am ready. I am ready to hear your questions and I will do my best to help you. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks to Abraham for his philosophy and thank you, sister, for coming once more. Um, first question I just want to ask, can spiritual helpers choose who they attach with or do they need to be assigned by either God or the elders? It is the elders. It is the elders that sees the gifted ones of the earth and they are the ones that send them to their, that of the helper to come and work alongside them. But it is up to the individual that is there how far they want to progress with understanding of the guides, the helpers that come. No man can choose who the helper is going to be. It is who assigned to them. You understand? Yes. So in a sense, you was assigned to the vessel, yes, sister. Yes, definitely. I cannot just choose. Hmm. What happens here? Those that are the elders, they see a gifted child. They see a vessel that is worthy to use. And they know how far in the realms of spirit each and every individual spirit has progressed. And they know the knowledge that they process, so they send them to those that are just beginning. And those that are just beginning will gain the knowledge. Then one will step aside for another to take place so that they gain. It is like a child that goes to school. They start up in the nursery. Then they go into the junior and then they grow and they grow and they grow all the way through life. You understand? Yes, sister. God bless you. God bless you. May I ask other people to ask of their questions towards you? May. You may. Right. Angela, please give your voice to Sister Safena. Yeah, good evening. Um, I just wanted to... Is it in, do you have to know who your spirit guides are and your inspirers? Yes, you must, my dear. You must always know who your helper is that is with you. Let me explain to you, my dear, so that you can understand. When you were born to the world, you were born with that other helper, a guide that will help you within life. As you grow within your life, so does the spirit. That spirit does not leave you. It grows as you grow. Many times you have heard that of people say, a child has that of an imaginary friend. It isn't an imaginary friend. It's their helper that's with them. But they get pushed to their material lives and they forget who their helper is. But they do not forget you. They grow alongside you. And as you progress within life, they become stronger. So you must always find out by asking, asking from the heart, who is my guide? That guide is your mainstay that will stay with you forever. But then you will have that of helpers that will drift in and out to help you. You also have to find out who your powerhouse is. Because if you do not know, how can you turn to them to gain the energies so that you can grow stronger? 
then you must also learn to find out who your doorkeeper is to protect you. It is very important because you see what man does not truly understand is that there are many entities that can come from the spirit realms and that that is still attached to the earth that they can come to them and it can cause disruption. It can cause that a problems where the mind is concerned. So my dear, you must find out who your guide is, who your powerhouse is, who your doorkeeper is. And once you find them, you can turn to them and they will help you to progress even further, you understand. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. God bless. Right. Robert, I'm just going to bring you in. Please ask your question to Safena. Hello, friend. Hello, brother. Hello. When I go out walking, often I believe I see people near buildings and churches, and I'm not sure if they are real or imagined, but they do speak back. And I'm interested to know, can people from the world of spirit exist? Yes, my brother, here? let me explain to you. It is a natural thing for you yourself and many within life. As you walk around, your third eye opens because you become relaxed within yourself and you become at one within yourself and your mind becomes clear. And doing so, this opens your third eye and with your third eye opening, you are able to see and sense of spirits around. Others will not see what you see because they do not have that of the calmness within the body and of the mind. When you walk around and you see them near buildings, you can guarantee that something has happened around that direction, that the spirit is still there. When you go into that of a church or a churchyard, you've got to remember that the spirits are still there and they come and you will see them. It seems as though I want to say to you this, brother, you have a gift, but you are not sure of yourself and you are doubting yourself. What you need to do, my brother, is learn to understand many things, but you must not learn from a book because it's other people's experiences. You will not find any answers to your question with that within the computer. You have to ask of spirit to draw close to you. If you can, it is always wise to, to go to a circle to go to a group that will help you to understand and help you how to open your channels, your chakras. And once you are open and you are open to the energies of spirit, things will come stronger to your brother. You understand? I do. Thank you. Very you. Thank you, friend. God bless you. Right. Penny, I'm just going to unmute you to ask a question to our sister. Hello, sister. Hello, my dear. Who keeps knocking the cyclopedia over? Well, that you can guarantee is the father influence that's around you. They're wanting you to look within the cyclopedia because you are asking a lot of questions and you're not finding the answers. And if you look, you will see the page that will open up for you. And as you look within, you will find the answer to the question that you are asking, because you see, there is so much doubt around you. And the doubt around you 
is making you wonder, was there truly spirit around you? Yes, there is. There are three spirits with you, and they will always be with you, my dear. Just remember, the energies of love, the spirits do not lie, and spirit will answer you in any way that they can, you understand. Yes, thank you. God bless you. Bless Which you. animal do I keep seeing? Which animal do you keep seeing? That, my dear, I cannot answer. And the reason I cannot answer is because you see it is what you are seeing, not what I am seeing. I can say to you that you see that of a dog, but it could be a cat, it could be a giraffe. So therefore that question I cannot answer for you. But let me tell you, if you are seeing any animal that comes close to you, that is because the animal must have been connected with you when life is concerned. And that is why they are around you, you understand? Yes, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Right. Um, all right, Trouble Mo, let's get you asking a question. My question is, who keeps sitting on my bed every night? Well, I can tell you. That is your grandfather. Grandfather comes close to you. You see, when you look at yourself, grandfather, you are a chip of the old block. Too much alike. But you have been calling to spirit. You have been asking for help and you've been asking for guidance. You've been asking for healing. But because you have been asking, you have also been doubting. And because you have been doubting, spirit have had to come closer to you, to raise you up, to make you aware that your gift is just as strong as it always has been and always will be. You have that physical mind and you put doubt within it. But if you ask the spirit to draw closer to you, to make sure that you can see them through the third eye or see the silhouette, they will show themselves to you. You understand? Yes, thank you. God bless you. Right, next person is Jesse. I'm just going to bring you in and unmute you now to ask your questions. Hi, sister. Hello, my dear. Um, I just wanted to ask you, um, like lately, me, I've not. Son's been taking himself. Um, my dear. We... Sorry, taking himself downstairs, um, and he's just been stood in the kitchen, just staring. I just wondered if, if you could give me out on that. So it's worried me a little bit. My dear, please forgive, but we did not hear what you were saying as you cut from the words. Sorry, one second. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can, my dear. Yeah, I was saying um, my son um, has been taking himself downstairs while he's been asleep um, into the kitchen and just staring in one direction. My dear. Your child is a gifted child. A child, you know, is a sensitive to the energies of spirit. And in the realms of spirit, his grandfather, his grandfather comes close and the child senses and goes towards. He looks at him. But let me tell you, the father influence wants to speak to you himself because there is so much that needs to be answered where life is concerned and where family is concerned. Remember this, 
Yeah. You hold tight to your son. He is one that has the gift. Help him to understand. No one will harm him, as no one named spirit will harm you. They have come for a reason. You understand? Yeah, I do, sister. God bless you. Thank you. And then also, sister, I wanted to ask you if you could give me some spirit guidance. Spirit guidance, my dear, is always wise to give to you. Yeah. When life is concerned, there are many obstacles that life will place in front of you. Sometimes you will find it hard to overcome. Sometimes you walk and step aside. But most of the time you walk forward, but you cannot see a direction. And there is where you look into the mist of life and you think, there is nothing there for me. You must learn to listen to yourself. Learn to listen to your inner voice. Learn to listen to your instincts. You see, there is the future for you. New doors can open for you. But you have got to stay focused. You have got to stay positive. And understanding about spirit, you must first of all learn to trust in the words that they say to you. Do not listen to the words of men that can take you in a different direction completely. You understand? I do, yeah. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. God bless you. Bless. Right. The next question um, is from Lynn Boyd. I'm just going to unmute you, Nanny Lynn. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you for this opportunity. My question is about transfiguration. And I'm just wondering, um, in the past, uh, transfiguration to develop it has taken many years. A lot of dedication from the medium and from the sitters that sit with the medium. And I'm just wondering, in today's... Um, technology um, and the way things are being done nowadays on Zoom, is it possible to develop transfiguration via Zoom? Yes, it is, my dear. You see, let me explain something to you. You have answered your question and you have received the answer within your question because you say that for many years, you have to sit together and you have to learn to use the energies so that you can grow with the power and the energies of spirit to bring transfiguration to alter the course of the features of the face. Let me explain to you. Today we see much that is taking place. And those that say they can do transfiguration they cannot, not in the true sense of days gone by. You see, you are very fortunate because you see, you had one within your life that was one that worked in transfiguration and one whom you sat with many times. And you have sat in many groups and gained so much knowledge, but you have also gained the energies. One that has taken the transition, who was a helper to you within life, will now become your helper from spirit. And she will impress her energies into you so that you can do the transfiguration yourself where you will be able to do it on Zoom or whatever you call it. It is like looking through a window and seeing the light that is before you and seeing that of the energies of spirit that impress themselves upon your features. You can do this, my dear. You can do this, but do not listen to what others tell you where you can do it overnight. 
we have seen so much that where man in life says, I can do this, I can do this, but they can do nothing because they have learned nothing. It takes time to learn to do a course and the course is that of spirit. You must work with them. You must work with them. Not others tell you how it should be. You understand. I understand. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. Bless you too. Bless you. Right, lovely Denise. You can come in and talk to our sister. I'm just unmuting you. There you go. Thank you. Um, hi, sister. What I would like, to, sorry. It is I, a idea. Okay. Hi, sister. Um, what I would like to ask is, we are all, when we work with spirit, we are supposed to be working, we're serving God and we're serving spirit. What I'd like to ask is, how come so many people have kind of, I'm getting emotional when I say this, how, how, how come so many people are swaying away from God and then, and d d does that cause an effect? Let me explain to you, my dear. It has always been the way of man, where man denies of what is in front of them. They will question much of what is unless they can see for themselves. But you see, when it comes, to working with spirit, God within his wisdom, he knows that when the truth is spoken, the truth will be heard. When lies are spoken, he knows that they will fall on deaf ears. There are many within life that will take a different direction and say this is the way of spirit. Let me explain something to you. God within his wisdom allows them to do this because you see, God within his wisdom knows that man will only follow in truth. They will not follow those that will lie, those that will give falseness. You see, let me explain another way to you. God gives everyone a chance within life to work with spirit in truth. There are those who say they work, but they are material and work materially. There are those who say that they are spiritual, but they are working material. Then there are those that are spiritual, that work in a spiritual way by allowing spirit to come to bring the truth to man. Yes, we understand that life is changing and so is what you call your ism. But your ism is at fault because you see those within your ism that is ruling of what you call your churches, they are at fault by allowing others to come to bring their words not the words of spirit, but the material words. And they are the ones that are bringing false. And others will see this and think, what are we doing? It is time now for every medium, true medium within spirit, to speak out and say, listen, we need to help others to understand what spiritualism is all about. And spiritualism is not all about money. It is about giving yourself your time to spirit and time to God to help those who have lost their loved ones to the realms of spirit. As a medium is called a medium for a reason. They are mediators between the two worlds. You understand, my dear? Yes, friend. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. Can, can I please push my luck and ask one more question? Oh, I think I'll allow you to do that, my dear. 
Thank you, Sister. Um, I've done transfiguration in the past in a group, and I want to go back to that. And I'm just wondering, is it possible to sit in the house on my own with my guides no. and ask them to help? No, not on your own. You are broken away from the energies of spirit. You now have to regain the energies once again. You need to understand. You have to build the powers back up within yourself. When you sit on your own, you do not know what entities can attach itself to you. Yes, you can go back to do transfiguration. But you must build fast. You must build fast, but not on your own, my dear. You do not know what complications you can bring with it. You understand? Yes, sister. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Right. Next person, Adrian. I'm just going to unmute you. Ask your question to Sister Savannah. Hi, sister. Hey, uh, first question I'd like to ask, please. Um, when for, like, there's new spirits, are they assigned in groups or families? My brother, let me explain to you. When a spirit is attached to any man or woman within life, they come alone, first of all. They are what we call the fledglings from the realms of spirit that are growing and understanding how, first of all, they can come communicate with you yourself. And your spirit within you has got to learn to communicate with that of the spirit that comes forward. As you are progressing, Others will come to you, and they can come in groups, but you will find it very difficult to understand what is being brought, simply because when they come into a group, remember, each one has learned differently. Each one has got more knowledge than the other. So you can find yourself becoming very confused with it. You must first of all ask of that of your helper, of that of the spirit, to say to you, please come one at a time towards me so that I can serve well, so that I can understand and grow. You understand me, please? Yes, I do. Yes, thank you. God bless your brother. Uh, my other question is, so when as... As man, we pass away, and, and obviously we all have families and, and relatives. When we then go in, back into spirit, does that stay the same, or does everybody sort of peel off and do, into their own areas of learning and stuff? No, no. Let me explain to you. When you leave of the physical body, let me explain what happens to you. First of all, those that are left behind upon the earth, they will grieve, they will be in sorrow because you have taken your transition from the body. But those in the realms of spirit, your loved ones, your friends, they are waiting for you and they will be greeting you with great joy and they will help you to the physical body that you are of a living spirit but you have the best of both worlds because you are with your loved ones that have gone before you who will help you and help you to understand what your new life will be and you are able to return to your loved ones that are left behind so you see you are fortunate when leaving the physical body to know that your friends, they'll be there. Your families, going back the generations, will all be waiting to greet you. 
and this is where your progression in the realms of spirit starts. It is a new way of learning. It is a new way of understanding what your new life will be. You understand. I do. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless. bless. Right, Patrick, my brother, did you get any questions? Oh, I have, yes. Oh. Good evening, sister. Hello, my brother. May I ask you a, 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 an easy question? I think you can answer it pretty easily. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the harder it is, the better. No, I my better come back to you. <laughs> <clears throat> right, I've just started a new course of learning in the spiritual realm, and I want to know if I'm on the correct path. Brother, this is very simple. And it is very simple to understand. If you yourself have got to ask the question, then it is not right for you. Because you must feel it within yourself. And it must be within yourself to know that you are going in the right direction. Your helpers, your guides will always show you the way forward. If you feel comfortable that the lessons you are learning in the new course you are taking is helping you to grow, then go for it. But it's when you have to ask the question, that is where you are doubting. And when you are doubting, that is not right for you. You understand. I do, yes. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Right. Next person is lovely Janet. Please speak your question. Good evening, sister. Hello, my dear. Uh, this might sound a bit silly as a question, but it's been bothering me lately. Uh, does everyone that dies, including murderers and all of those sort, do they all go to the world of spirit? Yes, they do, my dear. This question has been asked many times by others. Let me explain to you. Every living man within life has a spirit within. It is man that does wrong, not the spirit within that does wrong. And what happens is this, when you leave up the physical body, you are but a living thought, a living energy, and everything that has happened within your life is stored within it. So if you have done wrong in the sense of taking the life of someone who you have caused great harm to within life, although you are welcome into the realms of spirit, you are taken to one side and you have to go through what we call that of the hospitals to take away the darkness of the thoughts that was within life so that you can move forward within light itself. You understand? I do. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you too. Let me explain something to you, my dear. I do not know if anyone is going to ask this question, but before they do, I will say this to you. You have just spoken of those in darkness that go to the realms of spirit. There are many within life that take their own life and go to the realms of spirit. And others will say within your life that they are not accepted that they wander around in the realms unknown. They do not. One that has taken their own life is taken to the realms of spirit. They are greeted with their loved ones that will love them, help them, cherish them, and help them to understand. They have left the darkness behind them. You understand? I do. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. God bless you too. Bless you. Right, the next person is Angela. I'm just going to unmute you. Please ask your question. 
Hi, thank you. Hello, sister. Um, I sit in meditation quite a lot. I enjoy being at one and I just love the peace and energy. I find, though, sometimes I get overshadowed. Should that bother me or should I try to prevent that happening when I'm sitting on myself, sitting with myself? When I'm when I'm saying overshadowed, I physically feel like my face is starting to change or my stature's growing. Um, and I, I just get a bit worried, like, should I be sat? And that should be happening when I'm sat on my own with nobody else there. Let me explain to you, my dear. When you are sitting in meditation and you are going into a deepness, you must first of all ask yourself, if you are feeling the energy of spirit on you, you are not in meditation. What is here is you go into your relaxation. Meditation is even deeper. You must not feel anything placed upon you whatsoever. Because if you do, that means you are aware. And if you are aware, you are not in your deepness. So therefore, where you go into your meditation, learn to go deep. Do not allow anything to impress themselves upon you. But it is always wise to have someone with you. Because if you go so deep, it is hard for you to come out of it, and someone should be there who understands the spirit to draw the energies to bring you back to one. You understand? Yes, thank you, sister. Um, I have got another quick one. You're welcome. I'm, I'm looking to, de to develop even further. Um, so am I better to sit in a trans awareness circle? So no, that... no, no, no. Let me explain something to you, my dear. We watch, we listen, we see all, we know all. And let me explain to you, when it comes to watching men, they say that they can teach you to become a trans medium. They cannot teach you anything. They can help you to understand about trends. But what you have to do is first of all, to be in the direction where others are with you, where first you can go into that of the deepness of meditation. Once you are gone into the deepness, what may seem to others an hour, to you it will be five minutes. But when you come out and you start to speak, your voice sounds different. So you try to clear your voice by coughing, by drinking water. Do not allow that to happen. Continue to talk within that voice. That is spirit trying to take control of the voice box so that they can work on your energies of the voice. The more you do it, the stronger it becomes. The stronger it becomes, spirit takes control. Because when you sit within groups, the one thing they cannot tell you is how to use the voice. They cannot. Because anyone can put a voice on. But can they continue with the energies of truth? You see the vessel that I use. Listen to the words, listen to the tone of the voice. It is not his, it is ours. And that's what we want to do with men. We want to use their voice. We want to find a worthy channel that is genuine, one that is sincere, and one that is dedicated to spirit, you understand? Yes, sister. So... Sorry, just to clarify, am I better off finding somebody like yourself that works with Barry and sitting with somebody like that rather than a group? So yes, on a one-to-one basis. Yes, yes. Because you see, 
I do not be the Kasutia. I do not wish to I do not wish to be rude to anyone that tries to help. But you see, they do not understand how we in spirit work. They do not understand that first of all, we have to learn to understand your physical body. We have to learn to understand of your mind. Because you see, when spirit enter into you, we have to be careful not to harm you physically or mentally, but at the same time, we have to make sure that the ailments that you have upon your physical body, we cannot cause much difficulty, you understand? Yes, sister, thank you. God bless you, my dear. Bless you. Right, it looks like I have two questions, sister, if I may. Yeah, my brother. Um, who was the spirit stood at the end of my bed last night? That one was very simple. That was your helper that came towards you. Your helper, whose name I will not give, but you know, when I say that of the animal, there at the side of you, bringing calmness, bringing healing, bringing peace to your mind. You see spirit come to you many times. Because your mind is very confused, you are finding it difficult to understand which is that of spirit and which is of that of your own mind. Well, we in spirit, we know how to work with you now, and we know what we must do. So you see, the helper that stood at the bottom of your bed is one that touched you, and one that was there to bring calmness into your life, to restore you with energies, but also to help you to ease of your mind, so that now you will learn more about the understandings of the spirits that come toward you. You have been chosen. You will grow in a true and natural way. Do not feel though spirit will ever leave you. Spirit will not. Spirit stand by those who are true to them and true to God. You understand. Yes, sister. Thank you. Um, my next question is, what is um, Atlantis to spirit? Atlantis? Well, that is a question. You see, Atlantis, that was taken into the seas. Atlantis was that of the main place where the elders used to sit but the elders was turned upon and the elders became angry and they brought that of the volcanoes, they brought that of the tidal waves and they destroyed Atlantis because man within Atlantis had lost faith within that of the gods and the gods turned their backs upon them as that is the elders and the elders now only choose those they want to use and those that are worthy to send to the app to help you understand. Yes, sister. I will just ask Denise now to ask of her question. There you go, okay. Denise. Bless you. Um, thank you. Um, good evening again, sister. Well, Someone well. already <laughs> asked the question I wanted to ask, but what I was going to this is another question. Can I just ask, you know how the weather and everything's changing and we're talking about global warming and stuff like that. Do you, well, does spirit, is, sorry, this is better. Is it connected to what mankind's been doing and what we've done to Mother Earth? Is it Mother Earth fighting back with us? Is that what's happening with global warming? Why are we getting so much changes in weather patterns and everything like that is it because the the 
that planet Earth, that Earth is actually fighting back and telling us to stop living the lives that we're living. And like, it's like no disrespect to anyone, but eating animals, the slaughter of animals and things like that, is it Mother Earth? Is Mother Earth and God saying to us to live a different life and work in a different way? Thank you. If you was to draw breath, I will be able to answer <laughs> that for you, my dear. I do love you. I do love the way that you speak. But let me explain to you. Mother Earth is biting back. And Mother Earth does this every so often. Man has contributed to what is. The trees of life have been cut down, taking the rainforest away. Was that the energies of the earth that needs to be restored? Once those of the trees are replanted and grown once again, the earth can come back into its fullness and Mother Earth will grow again. And you will see of the seasons that will fall back into place once again. You see, years and years and years ago, you had your own understandings of that of the spring, the summer, the autumn, the winter. Today, you do not know when you are going to see of the snow. You do not know when you're going to see of the rain, and you do not know when you're going to see of the sun. Everything is confused. Most of this is done by that of man that is harming the earth. Yes, there are those that you must say, do this, do that. But what is most important is learning first of all to bring life back into the earth by bringing that of the trees, the trees that would bring all that of the oxygen back that will help that of growth of the greenery of the land, of the waters to flow, and you will see everything come as beautiful as one. But unfortunately, Man thinks first of money, not of the planet they live upon. You understand? Yes, sister, thank you. God bless you, my dear. God bless you, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, um, Chris, I'm just going to unmute you. There you go, you can ask your question. Hello there. Hello, my friend. Um, the question I'd like to ask is when you connect to the divine spirit, is it best to use light or is it best to use vibration? It's the vibrations. Light does nothing. Spirit can come to you with the darkness without the light. It is the vibrations of you opening your chakras, opening your channels, opening up to the entities of spirit and the vibrations of the energies that are there will draw the spirits close towards you and you can feel this taking place. There are many that will say to you, think of the stars within the sky that will shine down upon you. When you look at the star in the sky, it is full of energies, yes, but you don't want the energies that are out there in the universe. You want the energies that are around you on the earth, where you can absorb them, that you are able then to feel the vibrations of the spirits that are coming towards you. You understand? I do. Thank you. God bless you, brother. Bless you. Right. Mo. Mo, Mo, Mo. I'm just trying to find you. Oh, there you are. I've just unmuted you. <laughs> okay. um, my question is, what is a portal? A portal, my dear, is part of the energies of the universe that comes together. It's like everything within life. Remember, 
the earth spins, the moon spins, the sun spins, all the universe spins. So all the energies come together and it's like a vacuum that is pulling and pulling and pulling. And that then becomes what you call the portal that will take you further and quicker into the universe, long, long away from the earth and all the planets around, you understand. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Bless you. Right. Penny, um, just going to unmute you. She asked your questions. Who keeps shouting my name and who keeps messing with my lights? Well, that is grandfather. Grandfather keeps calling towards you. My dear, you have got to learn to stay calm. You have become very agitated and very angry. And because of this, spirit are coming to calm you down. But you see, you do not like to be calmed down because you are the one that says, I am in control of my own life. I can say what I like, I can do what I like, and no one can tell me different. Well, life has to have its changes, and it does. And that is why grandfather is calling to you, saying to you, calm down, calm down. And he keeps messing with the lights to get your attention. Please speak to him. Speak to him, and he will answer you. Not through the voice, but through that of the thought wave. And you will understand why he has come. You understand? Yes, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Hi. God bless you. Right, lovely Shalima. I'm just going to ask, let you ask your question. Just unmute you. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask, I am trying to build a better relationship with the spirit world or trying to connect and, and build my knowledge. And um, I just want to know if there's anything that I could do to enhance that and to just, I don't know, take away any blockages or, you know, I'm trying meditation doesn't seem to work for me. So just wondered if there's anything else out there. My dear, let me explain something to you. Please forgive me for using the vessel to have a little chuckle towards you. You see, my dear, it is not always easy to learn to go into meditation when you have your material life, where you have your difficulties, you have your problems, your mind cannot settle. And because your mind cannot settle, you cannot go into meditation. What you can learn to do is to go into relaxation. Learn to find time to be on yourself so that you can clear up your mind. So once you start to go into relaxation, spirit can and will come close towards you. You do not want to work within the services of the Father, God, or Spirit. You kiss him up. You just want to understand that your loved ones are close to you. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. That is when you know that spirit are close. And when you're feeling anxious, spirit will bring calmness. You do not have to link with spirit to find all your answers. Your spirit within can also help you. So learn to listen to yourself. You understand? Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. Sister, we have more questions. May I keep, yes. allow them to keep asking? Yes, my brother. Bless you. Right. Um, oh. Joe Duran, because you've not asked one yet. I'm just going to let you jump in. Okay. Good evening, sister. Good evening, my dear. My question is, 
I make decisions sometimes on the spur of the moment. I feel it's spirit that to put that into my mind, but then I have a bit of a doubt as to should I have done that? And this has gone on for quite a long time in my life. And I think I do get a lot of support from spirit, but not from man himself. That Is that be, correct? Let me explain to you. Mm -hmm. When spirit come close towards you, they too come on the spare of the moment and they will place thoughts within your mind. And if you listen to the thoughts and do as you are told, you will find yourself doing the things that brings joy within your life. But when you start to doubt, when you start to say, this is my thought, you do not do what spirit of us done you. And then afterwards, you ask yourself the question, I should have done that. I should have done that. Mm. The spirit are very close to you, my dear. You do not understand just how close the spirits of love are with you. Mm. We do respect you because you are one that is inquisitive. You are one that will question and you are one that is not ashamed to say when it comes to that of the understandings of spirit, you do not feel it. Well, let me tell you, you have the opportunity to let spirit come close to you. Mm. But because of your doubt within yourself, you hold them back. Yes. Yet you have the gift that you can share with others. You have learned great knowledge over the years, but you hold it all within yourself. Mm. So please, when spirit comes and it's automatic, go with it. Go with the flow and you'll find the joys that spirit will bring toward you. You understand? I do. I do. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Right. Jesse, I'm just going to unmute you. May I ask? Hi, sister. Hello, my dear. Hi. I just wanted to ask um, if my loved one in spirit is proud of me. Oh, yes. Yes, my dear. Let me explain to you. There are five in the realms of spirit very, very close towards you. But the one that is the closest is the father vibration of life. And he is so proud of you, of what you have done, what you have achieved. You feel as though you have failed. Yet look at you. You have become a beautiful young woman who has a child that you are helping to grow with in life. That is not an easy task, you understand. And there are many times that you try to open the doors to move forward with the life but find it difficult. But you still keep pushing those doors. You don't give up, you don't give in. And that is what spirit are proud of you for doing because you could have given up many times, but you haven't. New doors will open, spirit are working with you. But remember the five in the realms of spirit, one of his aunt vibration, and one that passed with that of the cancerous conditions of great pain. He too is around you, helping you and guiding you, you understand. I do, thank you, sister. God bless you. And you. Bless you. Right, next person is Angela. You're back in. Let me just find you. Everyone's windows are moving. There you are. <laughs> I've muted you. Thank you. Hello again, sis. A quick one, really. Question. Um, what is deja vu obviously we've got the diction right down here that gives you an explanation but what is the real explanation of J deja vu deja vu well usually that is premonition premonition that is being shown towards you of what is meant to be 
and once you have seen it and it takes place, many of life say deja vu because we have been there before. We've seen this happen, but this is all premonition, you understand? Yeah, so, so basically, if, if you experience deja vu, you're where you're supposed to be. Yes, you see, because you have been shown before, you have had a premonition either within your dream state or spirit have been showing it to you. But you have that that is shown. And when it is shown and you go in that direction, you say deja vu because I have been here before. I yeah. have seen this and I knew this was what was meant to be. You understand? Yeah, thank you, sister. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you. Right. Um, right, I'm just going to ask another question because I'm just gone down the list back to me, sister. It's about um, the gods again. Like, are they just, are the gods, are these the gods of the earth? Are they the gods of the universe? And how did they came to be in origin? Well, my brother, there is a lot that I can tell you with that of the gods and the elders were concerned. They are the gods of the universe, the gods of the earth. And what the gods that we call the elders in spirit, they watch over everything that is taking place. They came about because Father God could not do everything on his own. He needed those who could help him, to help him to rule. And they must listen to him and they act upon his words. That is why they are called of the gods. And what you see of the gods, they can bring much to the earth of goodness, but they can also bring to the earth of darkness. They are the ones that are in control, but we have to learn to understand them. We have to learn to turn towards them and put trust in them, because once we do, then we are the ones that are sent into the vessels of the earth to help them to understand. There is so much that you must learn about the elders. There's so much you need to learn of the gods. They can pick you up within that of the wind into the palm of their hands. But by that of the flash of lightning, they can drop you. You understand? Yes. Thank you. God bless you, bless sister. You. Right, Denise, I'm just going to mute you. There you go. Hi, sister, again. Um, Hi. Idea. Can I just ask, there's a lot of talk or people believing that we are not going to be speaking in our own voice and that what will, will, well, mankind, and that we'll actually be working t telepathically. Can you explain to me, is that actually true? And also, I want to talk about light language as well. No, my dear. No, my dear. I will not have you talking about that of light language. It is something that we do not want to speak of. It is not linking with that of the energies of spirit. Let me explain to you. There are those of the earth that will say that in time, all man will not speak. They will only speak through God way. If they speak through thought waves, everyone will become very so confused. Everyone will become so angry because they will be hearing the thoughts of nastiness that are being brought towards them and they will not find peace within life. So let me tell you, we in spirit, we will not allow this to happen. The only time we let the thoughts of that of the energies of the mind work or with that of the healing to man through the thought way, but nothing more. So we will not have you talk on those lines. I do, do apologize. 
through bringing those words toward you, my dear, because I do not wish to offend, but we do not, will not hear those words because they are not spoken in truth. You understand? Yes, sister. As I don't believe in it. I was just asking the question to see if Spirit knew if oh. that was true. That's the only reason I asked. My dear, you are just at the answer and I do apologize. That's okay. But I have to say, as I feel here, when I use this vessel, it is not him that is speaking of it. It is Satana. Satana that is speaking of it. And we see so much. We are very disappointed where man is concerned in the foolishness of the roads they are taking. They are not true to God. They are not true to spirit, but they are not true to man. So I do ask for, for your forgiveness, but I have to say it. I do not and will not have it spoken up. Thank you. I apologize if I caused any offence because it wasn't meant like that. I just was curious about the question because I've heard that and wanted to know what mm -hmm. spirit thought of that. So thank you. Yes, for that please, please listen. You have not offended spirit. You asked of a question that is on your mind. But unfortunately, we in spirit are angry with what we see, what man is doing by misleading others. So when this word is spoken, we do not want to know because we are working behind the scenes to make everyone aware that this is like a child with a new toy and a new toy it will play with but it will soon get fed up of, you understand? Yes, sister, thank you. God bless you. God bless you, thank you. I have the same passion as my sister, Savannah. Well, brother, I am going to tell you that I feel that the vessel is becoming a little weary, yes. so I am going to stand aside. I do apologise if there are more questions that I'm wanting to be asked, but this is not the time now. Remember, the vessel is a human being, and we have to make sure that we take care of him as much as we want to speak to each and every one of you. So I'm going to step aside. Say God bless to you each and every one and hope that you will invite me back again to use the vessel to bring always. your words and to always say to you what is true of that of spirit and that of the energies that are meant to be, that are brought to man, for man to understand the truth comes from the realms of spirit and comes with that of the energies of the truth of the Father to help each and every one of you to understand there is but that of one God and there is that of the love of spirit. Trust within them. God bless you. <laughs>